last time on Dragon Ball Z, the Galactic Emperor destroyed planet Vegeta, but a mysterious spaceport was able to escape. This time it didn't land on the Earth of the Dragon Ball world, but of a much different world. A world with banders of the four elements, water, earth, air and fire. Long ago the four nations lived together in harmony. Then everything changed when the fire nation decided to attack. Only the avatar, the master of all four elements, could stop. But when the world needed him the most, he vanished. How will Goku affect the story? Will he help the world to find peace once more? Or will Goku actually not be able to do anything, since he can't bend any of the four elements? What if Goku was in the Avatar world? On one day the village of the South Water Tribe would hear a huge explosion. They were afraid that the Fire Nation attacked them. But instead, hmm, they found a little baby in a round thing. What was it? They didn't know. But as they saw the baby, they knew that they had to help him. As it was freezingly cold and the baby was all naked. The baby would still be called Goku for... easiness, let's say. But probably he would have a different name in the Avatar world. He would be adopted by Hakoda and Kia and become the brother of Sokka and Katara. Goku being in this harsh cold environment would toughen up. In the Dragon Ball world he mostly lived in a warm climate while in this world he would face a very hard and harsh life. Much harder than even in his own world where he lived alone. He had at least his jungle. He had a lot of sources where he could get food. Well, if you're living in the South Pole, even of an alternate world, things will look much, much more difficult for you. It would make him a little bit stronger than the average Southerner and Hakoda would notice this. Hakoda did not only encourage Katara's waterbending skills, but also Goku's raw power. Goku and Sokka would be trained to become very strong warriors, and Goku would especially thrive in this environment. He would love the training and the fights, but when it would come to strategy, yes, Goku would not be really the most reliable. However, with Sokka, Goku and him, they both they would really make a good team, Sokka being the brains and Goku the muscle. There would also be a difficult time where Goku would transform into an Ozaru, but as there was a lot of ice around and most fighters and also more fighters too, they would keep Goku in check and probably decide to cut off his tail as it was the only bizarre feature of his body. Hmm, if there was a way to somehow harness this energy, Hakoda said to itself. Hakoda would tell Goku about the Ozaru form, but call it animal bending, as, well, in this world, it is after all a world full of benders. Goku should train to find out if he too has some bending power within him. One day, the Fire Nation would raid the village and kill Kia, the mother of Sokka. Katara and Goku. Goku would get angry and a blondy flickering would happen for a little moment, a few seconds, when the soldier of the Fire Nation would be killed by a powerful blast of Goku, but after that Goku would feel really, really sick suddenly and become just unconscious. Emotions were running wild and Hakoda made the decision that he would have to fight vulnerable Fire Nation soldiers leaving the authority on the next and the new generation. Did Goku kill this soldier somehow? Hakoda is now sure that Goku has some power within him that even he couldn't really understand. 
Soka, Katara and Goku would have to grow up faster and Goku would mature also a little bit more but still keep his personality and his positive outlook because well, with Soka that would still be a very great influence for him and maybe he would get a little bit more sarcastic but well I think Goku after all would still be Goku. Goku and Soka would both be protective of their sister Katara and train the younger kids. Goku would be very enthusiastic and mostly spend his time training. Later when the avatar Aang was found, Goku would probably not participate in the fishing expedition but train with the kids of the village because this would be his most favorite time of the day and after all he could just do it all day long. After meeting with Aang, he and Goku both would have a really great chemistry and in here would start a very beautiful friendship of them together. Goku would also oppose Sokka for the first time and it is possible that Sokka might even reconsider his decision where he decided that the avatar should be banned or that he would be some type of spy. So Zuko, he would still appear and take the avatar with him while Katara, Sokka and Goku would follow Zuko. Ang would still beat Zuko in his avatar state and all four of them would travel with Appa and go to the Southern Air Temple where Ang would of course get very yeah, devastated. He would just find a very deserted place and due to his grief get into an, yeah, the avatar state. While the three siblings would try to calm him down. But then Goku he would feel very sad for Ang like it would really touch him a lot. Is this something familiar? Hmm, he couldn't really put his finger to it. When continuing their travel, they would also have more or less the same adventures as in OTL, with little twists. They would still find out about Sozin's comet and Ang would get worried about it. When finding the water bending role, Goku, who would be a bit more open to the bending and not consider it as magic, unlike Sokka, he would try to imitate Ang and Katara, however to no avail. Or so he thinks. Perhaps one day I can do something similar. I, I know I can, would Goku tell himself. If the benders could harness this type of energy, well, why couldn't he? He had a flashback of his Ozaru form and of this key blast that he made, killing the Fire Nation soldier also later on, and then also where he was avenging his mother, Jong Jong, who thought Ang firebending would catch the interest of Goku. Goku would ask him how to firebend, and Jong Jong would also show it to Goku, but remember him that he was not from the Fire Nation. When showing Goku the basics, Goku would finally get some ki blasts or an aura appearing. His physical strength would now manifest as ki. Jong Jong was really surprised by it, however, this moment would get overshadowed when Ang would burn Katara. Sokka would push Ang to the floor while Goku would intervene and explain to Sokka that Ang didn't do it on purpose and that he should calm down. When they arrive in the North Pole, Katara would finally find a master in Paku who would teach her more about waterbending and Ang would also pick up on it while Goku would also see potential in the moves that they are using. Perhaps he can combine the moves with this fire blast that he made when, when it's somehow firebending. Hmm. The North tribe still tries to be ready and while Ang and Appa would disable the lead ship, Goku would stay on land but be hidden. Katara told him that when he watches the full moon, he will be able to yeah, show a horrible and frightening power. But right now, they would need all power that they can get. In this moment where Ang would meditate and cross into the spirit world, Katara and Goku would be more than enough to fend off Zuko, who would have to escape, while Katara would be more harsh on Zuko. Goku would tell her to let him run. 
This time our heroes would be able to stay with the Northern Water Tribe as they would not need to search for the Avatar, but Admiral Zhao, well, Ming Zhao, he would still kill the Moon Spirit. Ang goes in the Avatar mode and yeah, seeing everything going down the toilet, Goku is asked to look at the moon. He would be reckless. But as the Fire Nation soldiers and ships would attack him, much of his attention would go to them and they would use a powerful blast and row physical strength to destroy many soldiers that would be crushed under his feet and also be destroyed by his blasts. Ang and Goku would be more than enough to deal with the invasion. Later on, Ang and Goku would be very tired and take it upon them to control their respective states. Yue still saves the moon spirit and gives Sokka a final kiss, while the Fire Lord gets the message about Zuko and Iro being traitors, the Avatar still existing and, hmm, some boy possessing a heavily manipulated firebending technique and an animal bending power? Hmm, more traitors to the Fire Nation perhaps. An underground group. Azula, she will deal with them. And that's where we stop it for now.